a narcissistic person will do several things to play with your head so that you're the one that's questioning yourself and not their behaviour. And this video is to explore several of the things a narcissist will do to play with your mind. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel which is all about narcissistic behaviour, understanding narcissism. So when it comes to a narcissistic person, they are the masters of emotional manipulation. They usually get what they want from you by toying with your emotions. So one of the first mind games they are going to do is provoke an emotional response within you that serves them. So if they want to provoke a strong desire within you to make your relationship work with them, they're going to come on strong with the love bombing, they're going to be nice, they're going to offer the flattery, they're going to be there for you. And as it can be similar to the love languages of giving gifts, although they'll give those excessive gifts, it can be similar to the love languages. You can't always see what they're doing to you. You can't see that they're emotionally manipulating you, that they're, as we can all mirror to build a rapport with people, you can't see that they're mirroring who you are to sell you an illusion of who they are based on who you are so that they can sell you the future of your dreams so that you begin to rom romanticise about the future that you can have with them, which creates that desire to make things work with them. However, when things aren't going their way, they're going to go all out to have a joke at your expense to hurt your feelings and then... If you try to speak to them and communicate with them about this because you believe them to be a genuine person, they're going to accuse you of being unable to take the joke or being too sensitive, being too insecure. They will go all out to, if they feel like they're not getting the attention from you that they desire from you, they'll go all out to flirt with somebody in front of you. Some people are naturally flirtatious. However, you can communicate with them about this and you'll not feel insecure around them. Narcissistic people, when they get offended, they're going to go all out to provoke jealousy within you so that they can stand back and say, oh, what's wrong? Is somebody jealous? Which they are literally projecting out. A narcissist accusations are usually confessions. They felt envious. So they seek to punish you and then they seek to accuse you of being the jealous one. So narcissistic people go all out to provoke an emotion within you that works in their favour, even down to guilt tripping you so that they can get their own way with you. You'll often notice with a narcissist, they'll play ill to gain that sympathetic attention from you. They'll turn around. Narcissistic people don't give for giving sake. They give so they can take. So they can turn around and just say, after all I've done for you to get you to feel guilty. And as we ourselves know that we can do a lot for those that we care about without any ulterior motive, just because we care. And then we can just ask them of something so simple. And because they don't care, they're not interested in doing it for us. It doesn't even put them out, but they're just not interested. And we can think, after all we've done for them. And, and that's when we have to think, ah, oh, so I'm just a convenience for them. As long as I'm doing for them, everything is okay. Yet... As soon as I need a little bit of help, they walk away. This isn't the kind of person I need to be around. Selective forgetfulness is another one. When it comes to toxic amnesia, a narcissistic person will purposely forget information that they don't want to know. When it comes to abuse amnesia, you can forget periods or episodes of abuse in order to protect yourself. And neuroscientists have discovered that psychological abuse, emotional abuse, narcissistic abuse can negatively impact your mind. And one of those negative effects is that you become more forgetful. Not only do you become more forgetful, you've got somebody gaslighting your reality. You've got someone conditioning you to think Things such as, how can you not remember? So you're thinking, how come I don't remember that? You've got someone saying to you, that never happened. And you're thinking, I'm sure it did. So you're being conditioned into becoming more forgetful. 
However, with a narcissist, it's selective forgetfulness, usually disguised as helpfulness. So they can turn around to you and say, oh, don't worry about running to the shop for that milk. I can pick that up on my way home. You go and do this, that and the other today. You enjoy yourself. You deserve it. So you feel gratitude and appreciation. And oh, I've got such a lovely person here that's so willing to help me out as you would help them out. Only when they return home without it and you can see they haven't got it and you need it and you can think, hmm not much of it to begin with when you first meet them you can just say hey did you forget the milk and they get defensive they jump on the attack and they say well you're the one that forgot to remind me okay so the next time this happens you can just hey don't forget the milk i'm not a child i don't need reminding you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't you cannot win with them to the point where you no longer dare ask them or if you do it for yourself you've done it wrong they devalue you. They seek to pull you down. They seek to invalidate who you are as a person. It makes them feel superior as a person. And it helps with their fear of abandonment. If they can make you feel less than, they feel like they can keep hold of you easier. So they put you down at each and every opportunity, those subtle digs. And it can be as simple as what you're wearing that for. Ooh, I won't go out looking like that if I was you. Or they can just compliment somebody else on something that you've done and completely ignore the work that you've put into something. They look to devalue you so that you question your worth, you question your capabilities and not their behaviour. False accusations. If a narcissist can accuse you of doing the things they're doing to you, it gets you on the defensive, gets you explaining yourself to them, and they can continue to get away with their behaviour. Moving the goalposts, so what works for them one day doesn't work the next day, so you never know where you stand with them. Provoking a reaction out of you. Narcissistic people need to provoke that emotional reaction to work you in their favour, in their reality, whether they're provoking those positive reactions or the negative reactions, even using a positive reaction but having a negative impact on you. So they can go all out to breadcrumb you, to provoke feelings of that false hope within you so that they can keep you hanging on a little bit longer, thinking everything will be okay. Only it never works out that way. They're looking to provoke that reaction that reaction where they treat you so well so that you tell everyone just how amazing they are or that reaction where they're going to provoke you into raging out at them so they can tell everyone just how abusive you are. They rewrite history constantly on you and the more you try to just say, it's not how it happened, you bare faced lying to me here. They don't want to get this. They're not interested. That's why they've rewritten the history. They're not interested in the truth. They are interested in winding you up and watching you go crazy, trying to prove the truth to them so they can blame you of being the crazy one. Intermittent reinforcement. So every time you've just about had enough of their BS and try to walk away, they start acting all nice and sweet and innocent again or they play the victim so you feel like you need to be there for them. And they continue with the intermittent reinforcement until they've pulled you back in and off, and then they start with all the devaluation again. Isolating you from people. And it can be those subtle digs of, oh, I don't think that friend of yours likes us. Oh, I think that friend of yours is jealous. So a narcissist can treat you in a manner that your friend picks up on isn't very nice and tries to explain it to you. So you can then go back to the narcissist and say, hey, they said this, what does this mean? And oh, I think they're just jealous of our relationship. So they're trying to break us up. And you believe them because they can treat you so well, not recognising they treat us so terribly. They will constantly claim that you're the one that misunderstands them while they forever misunderstand you. 
there's always that double bind with anal narcissists where you are damned if you do and damned if you don't just like when they say they'll pick something up if you don't remind them you're wrong if you do remind them you're wrong they forever change the goalposts they forever change the game and with that double mark bind it often leaves you trapped with whatever choice you make there's going to be a undesirable outcome for you narcissistic people play many different mind games any you notice please do add those into the comments for people reading through thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support of the channel it's greatly appreciated if you are new to the channel i'm elizabeth shaw this channel is all about narcissistic behavior to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to mind what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse if you do find the information helpful on the Channel, please do subscribe if you are looking for further help and support and understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse i do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description if you are looking for someone to speak to i have partnered with better and their sponsored link is also in the video description i do also have a new book out which is 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people which is available to purchase on amazon now which I'll also add the link to that into the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.